Yo, it's LV and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. In today's video, we're going to be opening up a Crown Zenith ETB. So let's not waste any more time and get straight to it. We actually won't be doing a pack opening this video. Since Scarlet and Violet are officially releasing, I figured it was the perfect time for me to make this video and show you all how I like to organize a binder if I plan to complete that set. So let me show you how I personally like to organize my binders. First thing you'll need is a binder that actually holds enough cards for the set that you're trying to complete. I recommend these Ultra Pro binders. This one's just a regular strap and open a uh, binder and then this one is my personal favorite for my collections this one has a zipper and it's just overall more secure for your cards you will obviously need sleeves as well and these right here are my favorite clear sleeves i actually found these on amazon years ago and i must have bought the whole company out because it's been a couple years now that i go back to that amazon site where i bought them from and it just says out of stock so let's actually open up this lucario promo from the etb show you how it looks with the sleeve so it has a clear coating on the front and then it has a textured coating on the back which i really love and it's like the perfect fit there you go and then that's how the textured back looks it's honestly like my favorite sleeves but obviously you don't have to get these sleeves you could go with the regular eclipse these are my second favorite sleeves um, they're just uh, black can't go wrong with them very well made as well or you could also just use regular sleeves that you have had or have pulled from like etbs obviously it's really your choice obviously to use which sleeves that you like these are also from ultra pro yo ultra pro sponsor me the only thing that i will recommend is that you do not use Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves because your cards won't fit so <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh yeah i almost forgot you will also need a bunch of clear penny sleeves okay and since we have crown zenith fresh on our mind still that is what i'm going to be building today so we will obviously need a checklist i usually just grab the player's guide that comes with the etbs because it has the checklist on the back so here it is and we will be using a marker to check off the cards we actually already have so yeah we'll put that aside but before we do any of that, let me show you how I sort out my cards before I sleeve them up and then put them in the binders and then do the checklist and all that stuff. So if you notice from my pack openings, I actually pre-organize and set aside my cards while I do my openings. So it'll make it easier for myself. So let's do this pack opening just to show you an idea of how I do it. There's a code for you. One, two, three, four to the front. Okay, we have an electric energy and I usually put my energies on the side right here. And then we go with the Pokemon. Pokemon are usually in the center. Then we go with the trainer cards, obviously next to them. And then we keep going. Pokemon will be stacking up. Okay, perfect. We got a, oh nice <laughs> okay so we got a uh, reverse that usually goes there and then our hits will go up there so now i have started separating and organizing the cards for myself so it'll help me out as i'm building my binder so let me bring out all the cards that i have since i've been opening crown xenia these are all the pokemon and all the trainers and everything as well as a second uh, ETB where I have all my hits and everything else. It just makes your life easier if you already organize everything as your opening packs. Okay, perfect. As you can see now, everything is pretty much sorted by rarity. So I have all the non-hollow rare here, reverses here, this is all our stack of Pokemon, and then this is our stack of trainers, and then this is our stack of hits that we've gotten 
throughout our openings. Now for the fun part. I'm gonna set aside everything that I already have sleeved, which is all of our hits that we have gotten. Okay, I'm gonna move aside all of these cards for now. Let me actually sleeve these up. You don't want to sleeve up the hollows. I believe this one is just uh, on its own, so we can sleeve this one up. There's the green ends. So you don't want to sleeve up the hollows, and uh, you'll see why in a minute. Now the fun part begins, which is pretty much separating them all by type. <laughs> this should be fun. Now that we have separated all Pokemon by types, we're gonna do that for the reverses, for the hollows, trainers, and everything. So. Okay, now that you have separated everything, now it's finally time to sleeve up. So let's get our checklist ready. Checklist begins with grass Pokemon. So. We have all our grass set aside now. So as you can see, Oddish and Reverse Oddish is our first card we need to sleeve up. So we pick up our common Pokemon and we look for that Oddish. There it is. So Oddish. So then we go to our Reverse Pile and, and there it is. Reverse Oddish. So now that we have both, we could check off our list, both common and reverse. So now this is where our penny sleeves come in. So this is the way I like to do it. I get the common oddish and the reverse oddish and then put them back to back like this. And now we get our penny sleeve and they should both fit in perfectly. There we go. So now we put this aside and then we continue to do the rest of our checklist. So let's do it. So now this is where you have to pay attention a little bit. Sea Blossom has a star. That means it's a non-hollow rare. So we go to our non-hollow rare pile and there it is, Blossom. But it also comes as a reverse, so let's see if we have them as reverse, and there it is, perfect. Nice. Ooh, that took a long time. But I have checked off pretty much everything that I have and I have sleeved everything up, organized everything. So now comes the best part, which is putting everything in the binder. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, we're actually gonna be opening our newest Ultra Pro binder. Oh, just look at how freaking beautiful it is. It's like suede with the Ultra Pro branding. So good. Yo, Ultra Pro. Sponsor me. Oh, yeah. So here we have our binder now. So starting off with Oddish, it is complete. We have both reverse and the common. So in the binder it goes. Next up is Gloom, also complete. In you go, Blossom up next, also complete. Tangela, both complete. And here we ran into our first non-complete, so Tangrowth, and we are missing the reverse. So, I actually like to put it in like this, 
in my binder so that way when i go back to my checklist i know that we are still missing the reverse version of that card so as you can see i have it checked let's continue And now we ran into yet another issue that you might run into, which is not having a specific card yet. So for me, it's the Charizard V-Star. As you can see right here in our checklist, it's not checked off, which means I don't have it. So what I like to do is actually get an energy card and write down what we actually need and still add it to our binder. And now we just fill everything in. So let's do it. there it is made it to the final page of the binder i wish they would have made two more cards in the set so then all the gold cards will be next to each other but what i also like to do i'm kind of a completionist so <laughs> i also like to add the promos since we have been pulling these uh reverse energy cards as well i want to add them to the binder so uh, i'm not sure if more promos are coming Do like to add our checklist in the binder before I close it so that way I know which set it is when I open up the binder of course but yeah this is how it looks pretty much an overview we are missing a lot of cards but we we have a, an impressive amount honestly it is but that's gonna wrap it up for today's video i hope it was somewhat helpful maybe it'll give you an idea of how you should organize your binders when you're trying to complete a set but yeah i had already done this about a year ago uh, i think when brilliant stars came out over on my instagram i did it more like a fast-paced version so i figured why not revisit the idea and actually post it on youtube as well so i hope you all enjoyed and if you did make it to the very end don't forget to smash the like button comment down below if you are also trying to complete a set i would really like to know what set that is and also if this was actually helpful that would really mean a lot to me but with all that being said i appreciate you for taking time out of your day to watch my video my name is alvi and until next one internet peace i'll sort everything out later it's freaking four in the morning <laughs> oh no way let's fucking go two more No fucking way! Oh my god! I freaking can't believe I pulled a glacier on. <laughs>